Back on member profiles, there is a group doing some wonderful work, and I wonder if you know about them. Well, if you don't, you're going to find out. With us is Steve Griffiths. He is the executive director of Stepping Stone Emergency Housing, and they're doing really good things in the community. Chamber has been aware of them for a long time, and we want to make you aware of what they do and how they are helping people. Steve, welcome to the show. Uh, thanks for having me, Pete. Glad to be here. All right. So for the people that don't know out there, what mm -hmm. does Stepping Stone do? Well, Stepping Stone Emergency Housing is uh, the adult uh, homeless shelter for uh, people who are 18 uh, and older. Uh, we house 66 people every day. Um, like I said, 18 and older, it's really interesting. We, we have kind of two uh, sets of people that we have there right now. We have the younger group that's kind of the 18 to 35 year olds. And we have a lot of senior citizens right now who are finding themselves homeless. Ah. And that is, uh, that's a new, um, situation that is growing in our community, not just our community, but uh, state and nat nationwide. Uh, but it creates a, an interesting dynamic for us. Um, the great thing about Stepping Stone for our residents is it is a place where they can be 24 hours a day. It's not come in, sleep for the night, and then you're out in the community for the day and then come back in. Um, gives people an opportunity to come in. Like I say, I like to say they hit the reset button. Yeah. They know that they have a place to be safe. Yeah. They have meals. They've got a place to shower, a place to have a case manager who's helping them with uh, overcoming the barriers that they have to, you know, finding permanent housing. Right. You know, nobody goes to school and has a career and I'm going to be homeless. I mean, circumstances happen and people end up in those situations. And I'll guarantee you, and, and I'm sure Steve will verify this, none of these people thought that was going to happen to them. And then all of a sudden, here they are. Well, Stepping Stone Emergency Housing gives them the opportunity, and I love the word reset, because really, the goal, I would imagine, Steve, of Stepping Stone isn't to house them for the rest of their lives. No, it's this not. is to get them safe, get them settled, right. and then let's start to take steps forward to get them to a place that everybody wants them to be. Right. You know, and the reality for a lot of the folks who are coming in there, they're dealing with trauma in their life. Um, we have two young uh, men who are with us right now whose parents passed away when they were teenagers. Wow. And, um, you know, one of them aged out of foster care and wound up on our door the next day. Um, we're trying to just help him understand what it means to be an adult. Um, and helping him learn the basics, the idea of, you know, showering every day, yeah. uh, getting yourself on a schedule so that you can accomplish things that you need to. Um, but yeah, you, you know, for our folks, it's the opportunity to say, yeah, these are the things that are holding me back. Um, maybe I don't have great work skills. Um, maybe I don't have great interview skills. Maybe I have some issues with understanding how to budget. That's what our case managers are there for, to say, let's look at those things, let's move you forward and get you into housing. Our goal really is to try and move people in uh, to housing anywhere between three and six months. Yeah, great. What's new at Stepping Stone? Oh, what's new at Stepping Stone? Boy, we have been, um, we have been in renovation for yeah. uh, quite a while. Yeah. Uh, that has been the biggest uh, new thing for us. Um, you know, we're in the Cronin building uh, in the state hospital uh, facility, and uh, for the longest time since we were there, we had the first floor in the basement, uh, and then we were very fortunate to secure some funding from the state to be able to renovate the second floor uh, and open up that second floor, not to more people, we're still housing 66 people, but to add space for people, yeah. which has been absolutely phenomenal. Yeah. It uh, gives people um, just more space to you know, have as their own, so, so to speak, in, in their room. Uh, and then just modernize the building as well. I think one of the things I share with people, um, when we moved our first resident up to the second floor, the elevator opened up, and her first comment was, oh my goodness, the lighting here is so amazing. And our staff person who brought her up there said, you could see just the instant change in her mental health. Yeah. You know, so it's just been a phenomenal change. Uh, we have a new kitchen person. He's amazing. Um, and a lot of brand new staff as well that's bringing a lot of new, really relevant, uh, exciting opportunities to, to our organization. No doubt. So this is in Anoka, 4th Avenue North. Uh, for some of us who are old, uh, we know it as the former Anoka State Hospital. Um, and it is uh, some beautiful buildings mm -hmm. up there. It's a wonderful campus, and it's a great place for Stepping Stone to be located. All right, we are in the month of November. Tell me about the Thanksgiving Day fundraising walk. Yeah, we are having a waddle off your gobble. <laughs> it's a great title. 
Yeah. Um, so we are asking people to come out and waddle with us in the morning on Thanksgiving. <laughs> Uh, you know, I've heard that El Nino is in the forecast, yes. so we're supposed to have some warm temperatures this uh, this uh, fall. So we're just asking people to go to our website, uh, register, and help fundraise to uh, help us raise money. Uh, our goal is it's thirteen thousand seven hundred and seventy some dollars, I think it is, uh, which is a weird number. But we're really helping or asking the community to help us raise money to support those residents who are there on Thanksgiving Day and the day after. Yeah. That's the goal of what it takes for us for those two days. So people can go and register on our, our website, uh, use their own social media and their friends to help fundraise as well to crowd uh, crowdsource. Uh, we're just going to ask people to check in around 730. We'll have some coffee and some donuts and probably some fruit. Uh, we'll have some remarks at 8 o'clock. We're going to walk around the campus for 45 minutes, and we're going to have you back in time to see Santa Claus at the Macy's Day Parade. There you go. The whole idea of keep it simple, but a really fun opportunity, I think, for families to yeah. come yeah. and say, here's an opportunity for us to give back on this Thanksgiving yeah. morning before we go and do yeah. our thing with family and friends. All right, so obviously monies matter. They mm -hmm. do to anybody, especially groups that, you sure. know, uh, are in a situation where they're a nonprofit, they're trying yep. to do good things. So so if somebody out there just wanted to cut a check to help yeah. Stepping Stone out, would you take it? He would. Would you take it? <laughs> yes, absolutely. We would be just fine uh, accepting any monetary donation. And and that's not just at Thanksgiving or no, the holidays. Right. We're talking 365, 365 because yep. your place is open 365. Yes, right. Excellent. Yep. All right. So somebody out there is interested. They want to help you out. You should. It's the right thing to do. Also, I was going to ask real quick, because this is one of our uh, pieces that um, Chairperson Sofio brought up was, do you have volunteer needs that occur? Yeah, we do. You know, uh, we would love to have people help us in our kitchen. We're at our front desk. Um, you know, serving a meal is a phenomenal thing. Uh, it can be you just coming in and helping serve what our uh, kitchen managers put together. If you're interested in making a meal, we can certainly work with that as well. Or if you want to go and purchase a meal from, you know, whether it's Chick-fil-A or, uh, you know, Pizza Ranch or whatever and bring it in to serve it, uh, we can make that happen too. That's great. One of the initiatives that the board talked about at their October board meeting, it really started in the planning meeting in September, is, is that we have this huge batch of members and we've started to see more reach out from them going, hey, what volunteer needs are out there? Mm. So I'm, I'm going to ask you again. I'm going to yeah. ask you to put it in print, and then we can be that go-between. It's a natural. So Steve's going to tell me what Stepping Stone Emergency Housing needs. We're going to get it out to our membership, and hey, public person, you can help <laughs> too. Um, and we can be that go-between. It's just a natural fit. I, yep. I, I figured you had to have some stuff. All right, somebody out there, Steve, they want to help. They want to walk. Yes. That Thanksgiving Day fundraising walk, how do they get a hold of you guys? Best way to do it is just go online to our website, steppingstoneeh.org. You'll find all the information there, or you can call our shelter and ask for Jeff Connor, and Jeff can help out as well. Great. You know, it's November, Thanksgiving, time to be thankful for what you've got, and, and I hope that your family dynamic and you can be with family, and, and Thanksgiving is something cool for you. Well, we've got people who don't have that situation going on because of circumstances that have occurred. But it's still Thanksgiving. It's still an opportunity for them to be thankful. And you can help make that day better and beyond that day better by helping out in any way that you can, whether that be financial, whether it be by volunteering or participating in their fundraising events. But you can help the people that need the help at Stepping Stone Emergency Housing in Anoka. Steve, thank you so much. God bless you and all the crew for all that you guys do. Um, you know, I'm sure you don't hear that very much. You should uh, keep up the good work. Uh, you know, the goal is, is that Stepping Stone doesn't have anybody in there. That would be phenomenal. Don't know that we're anywhere close no, to that time coming, but you know what? We can all have goals and we can take care of the people that need to uh, be taken care of. Uh, come back sometime down the road, tell us how things are going. Definitely will. That'd be great. All right, he is Steve Griffiths. He is executive director of Stepping Stone Emergency Housing. All right, there's food in this building. You can't smell it. I can. And you're going to find out. It's a restaurant in Champlain that you need to check out, and we'll get into it right after this.